Hello, Internet friends. Quick little video about checking your plugins for Rosetta requirements or M1, M2 Apple Silicon native compatibility. I was asked, you know, which which plugins do you have installed that still require Rosetta? And I was uh, prompted to search for how I could quickly find that out. And I found an old thread where someone posted something. This app uh, that I found, which is the purpose of this video, is four years old, not affiliated with this developer. Don't know if there's others like it. I'm quickly making this video having just discovered this and just wanted to share it with you. So maybe there's other things like this. I think that Pro Tools might have something like this inside of it, but I didn't even get that far because I bought this. It's $2.99. Um, yeah. So it runs. You, you want to check, uh, does it run on your Mac? I've got a Mac Studio. The compatibility uh, is listed in the Apple Store. It has gotten pretty good reviews from the 50 or so people who reviewed it. 53 ratings, 44.8 stars. So I decided to just take a chance, spend the $2.99, and see uh, how well it worked. And yeah, this is it. It just opens up basically like this. I just sorted it by architectures. And my understanding is uh, these Harrison plugs don't report their architecture. I just installed them from the Slate SSL bundle, so I don't know. I think if it says Apple until 64, I believe that implies that it's going to work on an M1 or Apple Silicon. Uh, it's going to be uh, Apple Silicon native. And then going all the way down here, actually I'll just reverse sort. Uh, Absinthe 5 from Native Instruments is not uh, native. This looks like it requires Rosetta. Adapter Metric AB, which I still use sometimes from Plugin Alliance, or that's how I got it. It's obviously an adapter plugin. Some Audio Assault, some older Arturia stuff. So if I go Analog Lab 5, because this is, I haven't updated the Analog Lab stuff. Notice, uh, Analog Lab V is native. So I, I could probably remove some of these things. And there's a, you can copy the path or you can select in the finder. It also offers to try to open the publisher website. So assuming that the website is available, it will try to open that. But you can go to the finder and just delete it or move it straight from here as well, which I find pretty convenient. And um, I'll show you my list so that you can just see what I've got installed. Uh, some more Arteria stuff. Looks like some old Joey Sturgis Tones things. Sorry, if, my voice is a little nasally. I've got a little bit of a cold today. Billy Decker Electric, Bus Glue Electric. So let's see. Um, BDBG. And they might have released an update for that by now. Um, B3, that's more. Bells from Theneton. Now, that they might have introduced... Uh, nope, Theneton didn't. Uh, so these are all Theneton or the Neton um, plugins. That's a developer that I... I have these uh, for as NFRs for demoing. Some older WA production things. This Well, I guess it's not that old, but it's 2021. Bigifier. A lot of these... The reason that I have so many plugins installed is because I um, I get NFRs in order to do demos. So a couple of older. UJAM, Plugins, Void Hustle, and Eden. But again, these might be updated by now. Let's see if we do Publisher UJAM. <clears throat> see if I have newer ones. Yeah, so I do have Eden, Hustle, and Void as the newer version. So if you see me having an older one installed, it just means I haven't removed it yet. Um, interesting that the version didn't change. This says 221 for BM Eden, and this says 221, but it's Apple Intel 64. 
Oh, these are VST and these are AAX. In any case, I have a lot of let's see here. It almost looks like the AAX isn't updated yet, but the VST is updated. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Let's go back to architectures. I'll go through here. I'm still kind of at the beginning of the alphabet. Rhino from Aurora DSP. Let's see about that publisher. I definitely use these. Gorilla and EQ are updated, but Rhino and Gorilla. Oh, uh, wait. A, a, a Gorilla AAX isn't. So if I want to use Gorilla in. That's a base amp. Pro Tools, I have to use Rosetta. If I want to use it in Studio One, for instance, I can use it in Native. Interesting. Um, so Aurora DSP makes some really great guitar amps um, and bass amps. Oh, this old num this Nimbrini Clon, Clon Minotaur I was checking out. That's Intel. That's a free a free plugin. It's um it's that famous gold guitar plugin uh, clone. So Croto, simple concept. They also make simple monsters. I wonder if they have newer versions. Yes, uh, the Dehumanizer Simple Monsters is native, but the simple concept isn't yet, it looks like. And by the time you see this video, maybe maybe I don't have the latest versions. I think I installed this a couple months ago, within the last two couple months, so. But maybe already they've released it. So don't take the my list as, you know, what your list would look like today. Um, okay, we're getting to the end of... Oh, some Vienna, some, but I haven't updated this in a while. I bet Vienna has gone native by now. I need to actually probably buy the new Synchron Pianos. I don't know if that actually has been updated. Okay, Bohemian Cello and Violin. This Wave Shell stuff, that's going to be interesting. I think that it's available as all new but only in the 14 so luckily i i did decide to pay them finally for the first time ever i did the waves update program so that i can continue using my wave stuff but they do have plenty of their their plugins are mostly updated um see if there's anything else here worth noting Here's the rest of that UJAM stuff. Okay, the unfiltered audio. I think it's fairly well known that some of the PA stuff hasn't been updated. They had a big flood in their studios, so Plugin Alliance may... Um, I don't know if that affected anything at all, actually. But I'm sure all the Plugin Alliance stuff will eventually get updated. Okay, so Waves, X for Records. I don't actually use Thulu. This is... It's like a... Or did I buy it? Maybe I did buy it. I think it gives you a demo. Serum must be. Uh, yeah, Serum, I've got updated versions. I need to go and delete all these old ones. Oh, but not for AAX. Well, now, this that's weird. I wonder if that's accurate. All of these old AAX plugins aren't. That's frustrating. Um, Isotope, we know Isotope, uh, hadn't done all of them for a while, but some of these are pretty, like, Trash probably hasn't up, been updated in a while. But, um, you know, like, RX probably has. Let's see what we can get out of Isotope. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch that are. Ozone 10, Ozone 9 even. Um, the RX plugins like, you know, Deep Plosive and D-Click and D-Clip. Um, some of the Neutron stuff. All of that's been updated into Apple Native. But I do still have a bunch of... Oh, Insight too. Yeah, I still use Insight. Is there an Insight that 
Um, oh, looks like there's a version that has been, but not a, a wait hook. Hook. That's so that you. I remember what hook does, but why isn't there an AAX for insight? Hmm. Don't know. That's not the hook. Um, Hornet plugins wouldn't necessarily, but I, you know, I haven't updated that one. That that rhythm generator, bass sculptor. I wonder if Impact Sound works. Updated bass sculptor. Yeah, they did. But again, not the AAX. I wonder if there's a problem with this. I wonder if these are really. Why would only the AAX not be native? Is there a way to find out from here? How do you find out if it's native from here? Sharing preview, open with comments, more info. I don't know how to find it out. So I need to probably look further into how to find that out. Um, maybe just open up Pro Tools. So yeah, this is just an exploration of my stuff. Hopefully you've left the video and aren't even, aren't even paying attention anymore. Because you'll probably have to do this for your own plugins at some point. Thorn. I bet if I went back to the installer one day, all these Plugin Alliance ones will end up appearing noise ash rule tech heritage pro okay um karma effects synth crotos yeah we went through that some more jst things we talked about isotope we talked about that oh some fab filter stuff i bet that's been updated yeah, the fab filter stuff has been updated. Um, Ramona 1 from Elementary Sounds. I wonder if that's been updated by now. Let's see. I don't have it if it has. That's a really cool company. That's a really cool plug-in instrument. Audio Black. Oh, Insta Looper. Audio Modern. I bet some of these have been updated and I just don't use them often enough. Audio Things stuff. Um, what is this? Oh. Artisans. Um, RL360 Session. Ascension. Filk Channel. MyCompany.Product. Uh, let's. Filk Channel might have an updated version. Yeah, they do. Because they. But they need to update their publisher, I think. Um, yeah. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I was looking for a quick way to do exactly this. So far, I haven't figured out how to do it without um, buying this little app, right? I would recommend it based on the experience that you've seen in this video. Um, you know, you saw me go through it. This is all it is, and I think for that, it's very useful. Again, don't take what you see on my screen as the Bible, because very likely some of these have been updated, and I just haven't gone through and updated them yet. But um, what's this in 32 and 64? So these are, oh, some Boz Digital Labs ones. I bet they have been updated. Boz keeps up with everything. Tone Forge, that's another uh, um, Plugin Alliance one, isn't it? I thought Tone Forge was JST though. Why does it say Audio Assault? That's confusing. Some more Hornet stuff. I bet these have been updated. I just need to go to their site. 
we've talked about isotope, more of the JST stuff. I think that I've updated. Most of this has been... Pixelator just recently got updated. Look, this is 2016. So I just have old stuff installed. Sub Destroyer I just updated recently. So if I go look for these, I'll find them. I'll move it. Crispy Drums. This actually, I reported some stuff to that developer. I think they put some um, fixes in later. Mercurial. That's a really cool guitar amp distortion thing, but it needed some updates. It's also free. Guitar Rig has been updated several times. Synapse Zampler, but that's... I don't know if it's been updated, but maybe. Yuhi. So obviously we know Yuhi and Zebra. Um, let's see if Zebra has been updated. Yeah. And I've got it. But again, not in an AAX format. I really wonder if my if it's reporting AAX correctly. Um, let's start here. Okay, Sun Audio, Kick Beat, might have. This is a curious developer. They don't do installers, as I recall. So that you have to find, you have to put each of them in the plugin. I wonder if they've updated theirs to be native. W Production make me scream. They tend to go through eventually and pick everything up. Vocal Audio, we've talked about that. Oh, Synapse is also the one that does um, Dune. Let's see what... I might need to... Um, why isn't Synapse Dune? Why don't I find Dune here? Chromophone, Ultra Analog. All right, I'm going to end this here. But there you get the idea. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for... Um, watching me ramble.